Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Devin McCabe of Nimby Creative, and I am here to talk to you guys about a topic that I hear a lot about, but I don't know how many people actually know what they're talking about. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about user experience design. I've gone on my Facebook group before and on Facebook pages and I've asked people, are you thinking about your user experience design? What do you do? And a lot of my clients and a lot of my friends, I think immediately think I'm talking about client experience or brand experience. Completely different things. They're all correlated and they all work together. So you need all three in your business. User experience design is kind of like the techie scientific style of art. Basically when you're designing, you're thinking more about what happens if I put this button here versus over here? What happens if the button is this color versus this color? How much information do I put on my page? What's the hierarchy of the information? So when you're looking at user experience design, they do it for websites and mobile apps, and that's what I have experience in. I've worked about 10 years in the user experience field. So what I've done is worked for companies like eBay and Nike as a user experience designer, where I designed their mobile platforms. So that means the applications that you have on your phone, like your eBay app and Nike app and you know Facebook, those are the kind of apps that I've designed. So I create the layout, I create the graphics, and I put all the information together. And I think about all of that information before I start designing. So what I'll do is I tend to create a workflow and I decide, you know, what's the flow that the user is gonna go through through the website or the app. From there, I'll start pinpointing what kind of information needs to go on each of these pages. What's important? What's relevant to the person who's looking at this page? Are they gonna get lost if they are looking for something else? I have to think of all the different scenarios, all the different types of people that might come to this page and I need to think about what would this person look for and I need to go through that mindset to figure out, well, they're probably gonna to wanna to know this information first, and so I will show them that information. Or sometimes I'll give links where I can highlight some information, just in case I'm not sure if somebody might go from one section to another. It's really complicated, it's really exciting, honestly. It's like problem solving. And so for me, user experience design is a huge part of creating a really successful website. With small businesses, that's something that I think is very needed. Today, people can make their own websites, and I think programs like Wix or Squarespace, it's a wonderful platform that people are able to use and create their websites and really create something that they feel proud of. You know, they're not having to hire a designer to do it. However, hiring a designer isn't scary. It's just something that if you are ready to invest in something like that, it's something that you should probably really look into or at least get advice from somebody like me. I wanna be able to help you guys understand how important it is to have relevant information on certain pages of your website to make sure that you have the right tabs, the right links, the right content information, photography, all of the right elements that you need to make a successful website. So what does it mean to have a successful website? website. One, it's really important to have really good photography. That's a selling point and it's a visual. It's something that will capture your audience as soon as they come to your website. If you have really beautiful photography, that's the first thing you use to draw your clients into your website. The next thing you need to know is you really should have some really good hierarchy in your text. Unfortunately, I've seen a lot of Squarespace websites that have centered text and it, it's the same font. Maybe some things are italicized, some things are bold, but for the most part, it's the same font size and it's centered all the way down the website. This doesn't really help people like myself who actually kind of hate reading. P.S. I don't read your newsletters. Sorry. I love visual. Things that can call out my attention, things that will speak to me and quickly. Because I'm a mom of two little girls, I work from home, I have my business and clients, and I have a house and life that I have to live and things that I need to do on a day-to-day -day basis. All of the newsletters I sign up for, I sign up for them because I'm hoping that something will catch my eye at some point that I might be interested in. However, I'm not gonna sit there and read all of the text that I see on websites and newsletters because it's just too much for me. I don't have time to sit there and read it. A couple really good ideas for that, if you have a lot to say is make a video. It's a little uncomfortable to get in front of the camera, but I promise the more you do it, the more you get used to it. If you make a video, you're able to capture a ton of information quickly and it's captivating. So it's something somebody can listen to and they can see it and they can watch it. So they're more likely gonna retain information from a visual and from an audio standpoint. The next thing that's really important for me is to have hierarchy in your information. If you have all of your content and you have all of this information that you need to share with somebody, like I said previously, do a video. But what's really good is to have some blocked out information 
description, whether it's a graphic that highlights an area or a big quote that is like, are you ready to do this? Something that's gonna really help people understand that you have a specific skill set or a specific niche or whatever it is that's gonna make them draw themselves to you. When you can put a lot of thought in your hierarchy of information and the things that people need to see, the more likely you're gonna get people to stay on your page longer, retain information, ask you less questions in your emails, on. I think the number one complaint I get from a lot of people, they are feeling like people aren't reading their stuff. Well, they're not. That's part of the problem. So if you can make things visual in any way to pull out the information that you want to make sure your clients know and see, that's a really strong part of user experience design that needs to be thought out ahead of time. When you're creating your website, pre-think about your flow. Pre-think about what information you want to put and where and what is important enough to be on your website because it's very limited real estate. Did you know that you only have about 15 seconds to captivate your client and your user on your website? If you haven't captivated them in 15 seconds, they're gonna say bye-bye, and I honestly mean that. First thing I want you guys to do is go to your websites and look at both your mobile, on your phone, and on your desktop. I want you to see what you see in the first 15 seconds. Put a timer on your phone, and I want you to see what did you retain in 15 seconds, and how did you go through that site. Check out other people's sites. Do the same thing. You'll start to understand you don't have a lot of time 15 seconds to give all this information. So what can you do to pull out that really important information? User experience design is a very thoughtful, scientific almost art form where it's not just beautiful, it's not just design, it's not just creating a visually appealing website, it's more than that. It's about really retaining a user throughout your experience on the website and really knowing that you were targeting this person and they know that when they're here, they naturally feel like they've got a rhythm and a flow to your website. They're gonna continue moving through all the different pages, they're gonna go to your blog, they're gonna read all this information and they're gonna retain it because they're staying there longer and they're gonna be there longer than that 15 seconds. Definitely add Google Analytics to your website because that's the important stuff. That's the information that you're gonna wanna know to make sure that your website is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Google Analytics, which is something you can use to see how long people are staying on your website, where they're going, what pages they're staying on, where they're dropping off on your website. On average, my websites have a two and a half minute user retention. That means that I've captivated them on average for two and a half minutes. Minutes. That's a lot of time to be able to sell my information. If you're having anything under a minute, you need to be thinking about user experience design. And I'm here to help you. So what does that mean for you? That means I'm here to teach you and help you learn and to improve your website so that you can feel empowered to have a strong, beautiful website that people are gonna come back to. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've gotten a lot out of this video. So leave comments below, like this video so others can see it and find it, and I will see you next week.